Olivia, won't you get in trouble for wallpapering your room? Oh, no. My mom said she wanted to make the house nice for my grandma's visit. And since my grandma loves flowers, I thought, why not put them on the wall? Hmm. How does it look? It's perfect! Grandma's going to love it! Olivia? What happened in here? I'm filling my room with flowers for Grandma. I have some wallpaper left over. Want me to do your bedroom? Maybe some other time. We've got to get your room cleaned up first. Why don't you start moving some of your things into Ian's room? Why? I'm staying here in my room with Grandma. Honey, Grandma's our guest and we want to make her feel comfortable. She'll sleep in here by herself, and you'll get to stay in Ian's room. Won't that be fun? Ian's room? <sighs> Ugh, something smells in here. Hmm. Stop! I don't want my room to smell like a girl. Well, I don't want to sleep in a room that smells like socks. Hmm, let's see. My steamer trunk can go in that corner, and I guess I can set up my easel and paints right here. You bringing all that stuff in here? Of course, but there won't be any room for my stuff. Ian, Mom said you're supposed to make guests feel comfortable, and I would be very comfortable if you made room for my things. Yes, Ian. Olivia's bringing all her stuff into my room and spraying stinky perfume and telling me I have to put away all my toys. Where do you want your ribbon collection, Olivia? Over there, please. Thanks, Julian. Olivia, Ian is very nicely sharing his room with you, and that doesn't mean you can turn it into your room. But, Mom... It's only for a couple of days. That's practically forever. Mom! Ian has fleas! Look! There's no way I can stay in a room with fleas. I don't see any fleas, Olivia. They're very small. Look harder. What happened to the blackberry jam that was in this jar? It was empty when I found it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Excuse me! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Get out of here! I cannot stay locked up in this castle with my brother for another minute! What are you doing? I'm looking for a secret passage. Castles have lots of them. I've never seen one. That's because they're secret. <gasps> I found it! See you later! Let me come! Why? I thought you liked it here. I do, but if you're going to leave, then I want to leave too. Rule of life number 49. Little brothers always want the same things you want. Whoa, check out the spiders. Ew. I think I'll find another way out. Olivia, Ian, Grandma's here. <gasps> Grandma? Hello, kids. I just can't get enough of my little Ian. I'm not little anymore, Grandma. Well, does that mean you're too big for kisses? Guess so. Oh, what am I saying? No one is ever too big for kisses. <laughs> Grandma, yuck. Now, where is my Olivia? Here I am, Grandma. <gasps> I like your outfit. Now that's style, darling. <laughs> okay, kids. Time for me to teach you my latest dance moves. I can't wait! 
Okay, now listen to the beat and move those little feet. your own. That's it, Olivia. You are a natural. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Olivia. I love the new wallpaper. Thank you. Did you need something? I forgot my, uh, ear ribbons. What about the ribbons you're wearing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good night. I just remembered. I forgot my favorite slippers. You know, I might be a little lonely all by myself. Do you think you could bunk in here with me? Really? You wouldn't mind? I'd be delighted. Yes! And I know just the thing to make this sleepover extra special. Why don't you get cozy in bed? I'll be right back. One Sunday, two spoons. You're the best grandma in the whole entire world. I always said you had good taste. Do you always have ice cream before you go to sleep? Oh, no. Only on special occasions. Usually, I end my day by thinking back to my favorite parts of the day. That way, I only have happy thoughts before I go to sleep. Give it a try. What was your favorite part of today? Well, I liked the pancakes I made for breakfast. And I liked it when William threw his cereal. But I think my favorite part is this. This ice cream sundae? No. Being with you. Good morning, darling. Hi, Grandma. <sighs> I wondered where you got off to. I'm usually the early bird around here. Uh, well, I slept in Ian's room. You did? Why? Ian was sad I wasn't sleeping in his room. But please don't tell him that I told you. I wouldn't dream of it. So it's okay with you if I don't sleep in here? Of course. Besides, you know, you talk in your sleep. I couldn't sleep a wink. Now, come here. I'll show you some Tai Chi moves. <laughs> <laughs> the princess found the missing pineapple, and they all lived happily ever after. You always tell the best stories, Grandma. Do you have to go home tomorrow? I'm afraid so, but... At least you'll get your room back. What was your favorite part of today? This. Telling that story? No, being with you. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Grandma. One, two, three, eyes on me. Now, in a few days, our class will be hosting Parents' Night. So, I'd like us to put on our thinking caps and come up with a fun activity for the evening. Harold, 
Got an idea? We can have a finger paint party. Only you have to paint with your feet. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. I'll keep that in mind. Anyone else? Oscar? Otto? How about everybody come to school in pajamas? The kind with feet. But how will we paint with our feet if they're stuck inside pajamas? Well, then I guess we'll have to save both suggestions for another time. <gasps> Olivia, what fantastic idea do you have for us? I was thinking we can make our own carnival. <gasps> we could have games and rides and prizes. <laughs> and come see the best, the biggest, the most fun carnival ever made! What a fantastic idea! We'll have a carnival for parents' night. Olivia, how would you like to be in charge? With my supervision, of course. Now, let's get to work. So then, I put everyone in groups of three to make up their own booth or game. Very efficient. And Mrs. Hogenmuller said that I can make up my very own special attraction. I know. You should make a game where you have to catch real fish with your bare hands. <laughs> Who would play that? I would. Thanks, Ian, but I want to keep thinking. Okay, here's a better idea. You could dress up Perry as the first alien dog from outer space. You know, Ian, maybe your class will have its own carnival next year. Yeah, so save those good ideas for then. But I'll forget them all by then. <laughs> Rule of life number 33. If you're not careful, you might get talked into dressing up your dog as an alien. <laughs> How are you guys doing with the ring toss? Oh, sorry, Olivia. But I decided that was much too boring. So we changed it to a pin the nose on the clown game. We love clowns, with or without noses. What do you think, Olivia? I like it. But what if you did something like... <laughs> what a great idea. Thanks, Olivia. Double thanks. Hi, guys. I can't wait to see what you're working on. It's a ride. We call it the Rolly Twisty Tunnel Ride. Watch. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. It, it makes you kind of dizzy. <sighs> but I really want to use this tunnel in our ride. Looks like fun to me. But it might be even more fun if you try. Whoa, I can't wait to try it. Me either. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. Good luck. Hi. So, your attraction is the world's largest frog. <laughs> See? He looks pretty big next to these toys. He won't be doing that on parents' night, will he? Because my mom freaks out at frogs. Your attraction is really great. But I wonder if this might make it even better. Can you whisper it again? It's hard to pay attention when there's a frog on your head. Olivia, everyone is so thrilled with your suggestions. It looks like you're doing an excellent job as carnival director. Thank you, Mrs. Hagenmuller. And how's your own special attraction coming along? Well, I've had lots of ideas, but I haven't decided which one should be the extra special attraction. Well, don't worry, dear. Great ideas have a way of sneaking up on you. <gasps> Boys, those pies are for the pie throwing contest, not for eating. Sorry, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Okay, Dad. Here's how my extra special attraction is going to work. Hmm, classic design, very scientific. Pushes, pulls. Hmm. 
Olivia, can we see your extra special top secret attraction now? Yes, Olivia, what's under the sheet? Only the soon to be most talked about, most picture taken of, world famous, most amazing attraction ever built. Show us, Olivia. Sorry, sorry, but it's not ready for the public yet. You'll have to come back tomorrow at parents' night. Aww. You just might need a little help. Why don't you ask the boy standing next to you? You're being kind of a pest. Pest? I do not know the meaning of that word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can help. Come on, robot boy. We've got a lot of work to do. See you later, parents of Robot Boy. <laughs> robot Boy. Welcome to Parents' Night, parents. Our carnival director will introduce all of the attractions. Olivia? Thank you, Mrs. Hogenmuller. Folks, follow me over to our first attraction, which was made by Francine, Oscar, and Otto. It's the one, the only, amazing clown Talk. Would someone care to try it? I would. <gasps> Mom, you won! You got a clown doll for a prize. Oh, I'm so happy. Here we have bouncy beach ball bowling. All you have to do is throw a ball through the rolly, twisty tunnel and out the other side to knock down these bowling pins. Julian, will you demonstrate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and step right this way, ladies and gentlemen, and see the most strange animal of all time. The last living dinosaur, the Frogosaurus. Watch it climb up this tall building. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. It doesn't bite. <laughs> and for our last attraction, Welcome to Olivia's Spectacular Funhouse! I couldn't have done it without my little brother, Ian. She's right, she couldn't have. <laughs> oh, Ian! <laughs> now, watch carefully as the Hall of Mirrors transforms an ordinary boy into... Hello, welcome to Olivia and her brother Ian's fun house. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Parents, enjoy the carnival. I really want to show you my new idea for a carnival booth. I would love to look at your idea, Olivia, in the morning. But my idea glows in the dark. So it's really best if we talk about it at night, like now. Your idea will be there in the morning. Good night, Olivia. Sweet dreams, honey. Good night, Mom. I've never seen so much snow. Exciting news, children. Because of this unexpected blizzard, school has been canceled for the rest of the day. Does that mean we get to go out in the schoolyard and play? No, it means you all get to go home early. While I hit the slopes with my cousin Ginger. Now, let's get our things and get dressed. Mustn't keep your parents and cousin Ginger waiting. <laughs> snow like this every day, then we'd never have to go to school. 
Mom, if I didn't have to go to school anymore, would I still have to take a bath? Yes. Rule of life number 42. If it weren't for mothers, little brothers would be very stinky. Francine, Julian, I spoke with your parents, and you're going to stay at our house until they're able to get home from work. It could take them a while with all this snow. I love blizzards. A whole day to play together. And I know the perfect game. Hmm. Welcome to the Hotel Olivia. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Wow! It's so big! Oh, this is nothing. You should see my other hotels. I wonder where Olivia is. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room in your hotel, please. Me too. I mean, a different room. Maybe one with the TV. I want a TV too. That shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> What's that sound? You mean, the wind? It sounds like a ghost. Oh no, there are no ghosts at the Hotel Olivia. Please, follow me. We'll be taking the elevator. After you. Now, each of the rooms come with fluffy towels, little chocolates on the pillows, and room service. And they make your bed for you. I like the sound of that. We get to eat in our room? That's just one of those things that makes the Hotel Olivia the fanciest hotel in the world. This is our stop. Kindly follow me. This is your room, Francine. No offense, Olivia, but I'd like another room. This one smells like boy. But this is the room I picked out for you. I'll take it. I already smell like a boy anyway. Kindly follow me. And this is your room. I love it! Now here's the bed and the window. What's that for? Uh, that's in case you brought a pet monkey. Now over here are your little chocolates and towels. And if you want to be left alone, just hang this Don't Bother Me sign on your door. This is the best hotel ever! Excuse me, I think I have another guest. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room, please. I'm sorry, but the Hotel Olivia is full. All the rooms are taken. No fair. Mom, Olivia says all the rooms in her hotel are taken. Olivia, this is a very big hotel. I'm sure you can find a room for your brother. All right, follow me. It's pretty small. Oh, this isn't your room. This is. The bathtub? Go on, try it out. You'll love the privacy. And the soaps are free. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, one more thing. You have to leave your hotel room when other guests need to use the bathroom. Never mind. I don't want to stay at this hotel anymore anyway. Besides, I heard there were ghosts. Ghosts? He's making that up, Francine. There are no ghosts or pesky little brothers at my hotel. I promise. Are these grilled cheese sandwiches going to be enough for your guests? Hmm. Maybe we should give them a pickle, too. Good idea. And how about a big vanilla cupcake with pink frosting? I'm out of those at the moment. Please? I want the Hotel Olivia to be the best in the whole world. Hmm. I guess it's a good day to bake. Pink frosting, right? <laughs> Here's 
sandwich you ordered. I didn't order a sandwich. I ordered a frozen yogurt pop. Oh, this must be for the guest in room 17. Be right back. Can I play? Not right now, Ian. I'm very busy. Here's your sandwich, Francine. Oh, good. I was getting really hungry. And could you make the bed now? I've messed it up. <sighs> hey, Olivia. Perry left a gross chew toy in my room. Would you come and get rid of it? Uh, be right there. Oh, and room service? May I get a glass of milk? In just a minute. Uh, who turned off all the lights? The store must have knocked the power out. Or a ghost did. I told you, Francine, we don't have ghosts. <laughs> come on, Julian. I'll take care of that chew toy now. Want to come with us, Francine? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> Are you sure it was a chew toy you stepped on? Positive. It had dog slobber on it and everything. Ghost! It was the ghost! I saw it! <gasps> ah! I just saw it too! <gasps> Where? I don't see anything. I don't want to stay in this hotel anymore. Neither do I. Olivia, Mom told me to tell you she can't finish the cupcakes until the power comes back on. What's wrong with you guys? We saw a ghost! I told you there were ghosts. If I do have a ghost in my hotel, then I'm just going to have to get rid of it. What does the ghost meter say? Nothing so far. The ghost is up there. Maybe I should wait downstairs. You know, in case the ghost tries to get away or something. Good idea. Phew. to be a ghost and scaring all my hotel guests. Well, Olivia, maybe Ian just wanted to play too. Sorry. Sorry, Ian. I know. How would you like to be the room service waiter? Cool. Oh, good. The power's back on. Room service. Julian and Francine's parents got home okay, but they said it was okay for them to spend the night. Oh, good. Because I promised everyone that the Hotel Olivia has amazing pancakes for breakfast. I mean, if you don't mind helping me. Not at all. It sounds like the Hotel Olivia was a big success. It was, but it's not as much fun as Hotel Mom. That's very nice to know. Mwah. Good night, Mom. <laughs> good night, Olivia.